Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. In 1960, the Etch-A-Sketch toy was introduced to the world. I'm going to show you how you can recreate your own Etch-A-Sketch artwork that combines a face, a background with a building, and text. So you can follow along. I provided the Photoshop file that includes the Etch-A-Sketch and the channel for the layer mask. The file is located in the video's description or project files. Open the document of a face you'd like to use, click anywhere on the image, and drag it up onto the tab of the Etch-A-Sketch file. Without releasing your mouse or pen, drag it down onto the Etch-A-Sketch and then release. If your image is a lot of very dark areas, you should bring out more of the details within them. To do this, go to Image, Adjustments, and Shadows Highlights. Since you want to just adjust the darker areas, go to Shadows and experiment with the amount, tonal width, and radius to get just the right amount of detail you want for your image. I'm using 35% for the amount, 50% for tonal width, and 30 pixels for radius. We need to make a selection of the face and body so we can cut it out from its background. There are many ways to make a selection, so choose the one that's the easiest and most effective for you. For this example, I'll use the pencil tool. I'll make sure my foreground color is black and I'll click on the quick mask button. I'll use a 2 pixel brush size, the hardness is 0%, the blend mode is normal, and the opacity is 100%. I'll draw around the edge of the body and make sure there are no holes in the line. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'll open my paint bucket tool and click inside the shape to fill it in. I'll press Q to make the quick mask into a selection and then I'll invert it by pressing Control shift i or Command shift i on a Mac. Press Control or Command j to cut and copy the image from its background using the selection. Now we can trash the full image since we don't need it anymore. Make the face layer active and open your channels panel. Control click or command click on the inside screen to make a selection of its shape. Open back your layers panel and click on the layer mask icon to make a layer mask next to the face. Click on the chain link to turn it off. This allows us to move or effect either layer independently of the other. Click on the face to make it active and press Control or Command T to open your transform tool. Go to a corner and when you see a straight double arrow, press Shift and Alt or Shift and Option as you drag it in. To reposition it, click inside and move it. To accept it, either press the check mark at the top or enter or return. Next, we'll remove all the color. To do this, press Control Shift U or Command Shift U on a Mac. Press Control Shift L or Command Shift L to invoke auto levels. To move your image, press V to open your move tool, click on the image and move it. I'll move mine to the side to make room for my background. I'll open my background document, drag it onto the tab of the Etch-a-Sketch file and drag it down onto the image. We need to mask this image to the inside of the Etch-a-Sketch screen. Go to the layer mask and press and hold Alt or Option as you drag a copy of it to the building layer. Drag the face layer to the top and I'll click on the building to make it active. If you want to move it, click on it with your move tool and move it. Remove all the color and go to filter, pixelate and mosaic. For this image, I'll choose a cell size of 5 pixels square. Depending on the size and resolution of your image, you may want to adjust this number. Click on your face layer and press Ctrl or Command F to repeat the last filter we applied. Go back to Filter and choose Stylize and Find Edges. I'll click on the building layer to make it active and repeat the last filter to this layer. Let's add some text. Click on the top layer to make it active and open your type tool. Make sure your foreground color is black and click on the quick mask button. Choose a font. I'm using black oak standard. The size is 41 points, smooth, left align, and the color is black. Type out your text and use your move tool to move it. 
Go to Filter, Pixelate, and Mosaic. Click OK to rasterize the type. Keep the cell size the same. Go back to Filter, choose Stylize and Find Edges. We'll merge the artwork into one layer. Since the top layer is already active, shift-click on the bottom artwork layer to highlight all three. Now press Ctrl or Command E to merge them together. Change the blend mode to multiply. Since Etch-a-Sketch lines are connected, we need to add connecting lines to the text. Press Z to open your zoom tool and zoom into the text. Press B to call back your pencil tool and choose one pixel for the pencil size. Normal for the blend mode and 100% opacity. Now click on a line of your first letter and press and hold shift as you draw out a horizontal line connecting to a line of your drawing. Then lift up your mouse or pen and release shift. Click on another part of your first letter and press and hold shift as you draw out another line. Press and hold this space bar to move your document across the screen. Continue to draw lines until all your letters are connected. Then fit your document back onto your screen. Have fun creating your own Etch-a-Sketch artwork of your favorite person, place, or thing. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.